is a brand new 2021 Road King Special. And it is such an amazing motorcycle that I, I broke my own rule and I bought one for myself. But there's one thing I don't like about it, and I'm gonna tell you guys at the end. So the Road King came out in the early 90s. Now no one actually knows when, but experts are discussing it and they say somewhere around 1994. And since then, there's been multiple different variations of the Road King. They had the standard, they had the custom, they had the classic, then they had the CVO. And then in 2017, just three years after they stopped making the CVO, they came out with what I consider the best Road King ever, the special. And just like me in grade school, who was also called special because I was missing some things, this thing's also missing some things. It has less stuff than the Road King standard and costs more. Let me show you. So this bike has no windshield, no spotlights, no little front fender mustache thing, no little back mud flap, metal mud guard. It also has no rear saddlebag guards. So why would anyone pay more for this when you get less stuff? Well, that's simple, because it looks cool. This fits me better than the Road King standard does. If I were gonna take a regular Road King standard with all the chrome, all this stuff, and honestly, some of this stuff, I personally feel is a little old man-ish. You know, that little mustache thing on the front. You know, all, all the chrome, little bells and whistles. If I were to take all that stuff off of a Road King and then black out everything that's normally chrome, it, it would cost me thousands and thousands of dollars and tons of time that I, that I just don't have. So to get one the, the way I want it, the, the, for the style that I want it, and also the coolest possible colors, it's worth a little bit extra for me to get the bike that I actually want. See, the Road King Special embodies everything I love about the Road King but then takes it to the next level. It's got the same great touring chassis as the Electro Glide and the Road Glide, but none of the stuff that I don't need. I don't need a GPS to tell me that I'm lost when that's the point I'm trying to get lost. I don't need a windshield or a, or a big fairing to get in the way of eating bugs while I'm riding because that's my free lunch. And I don't need a radio on my motorcycle to blast to the world that I listen to Taylor Swift while I ride my Harley Davidson. That's what my helmet comm system's for. Now, unlike the Road King Standard, the Road King Special only comes with the big, bad 114 Milwaukee 8 motor, which is a really great motor. And this one puts around 100 horsepower and 119 foot-pounds of torque, which is not bad. It's pretty impressive for a Harley, but the most impressive thing is not what they give you for horsepower, but what the Milwaukee 8 can handle in terms of horsepower. And I'm told these things can you know, do pretty close or even over 200 horsepower, 200 foot-pounds of torque. I'm actually gonna try to test it out, but I'm gonna do some modifications to this a little bit later. It also has two little quick detach screws. They used to take the saddlebag off, it comes off really easily, and it's good for cleaning, good for maintenance. The left one exposes the hand adjustable suspension tuning, which you could do, I mean, not on the fly, but you gotta stop and pull over. But, you know, you can see, it's pretty easy. Now, I've always liked the CVO bikes, because I thought they came in the coolest possible colors. But in 2014, they stopped making a CVO Road King, so luckily for me, when they came out with the special, they came out with some awesome colors. They got colors like this, they got colors like this, but in 2021, they had only three colors, and I liked some of them. The first one, which was my first choice, was Deadwood Green. Just a really cool looking gloss, almost a military style green. I couldn't find one anywhere. I called 100 different Harley dealerships, no one had one, uh, they were all sold out. My second choice was this one, the Vivid Black. It's something that, you know, they've been, Harley's been using Vivid Black for, I don't know, three decades now. It looks pretty awesome. The third one, which I've never actually seen in person, but I don't like the looks of it from the pictures. Maybe it's awesome in person, I don't know. But it's called Snake Venom Green, and it's some type of a uh, metallic, got a lot of flake in it and when you depending on how you look at it it's like a green or it's a purple I, I, I got to see one in person to see whether I really like it or not but I was actually pretty limited on what I could buy because this was the only one available in like you know my tri-state area and I was calling all over the place now like I said before I just love the simplicity of this motorcycle even though it's a 2021 you know decades newer than my first Road King it's still all the same features are here all the same buttons are here. Let me show you guys how they accomplish so much with just so little, all right? So you turn the bike on, flip the switch. Obviously, that's normal. Most important thing, cruise control right here. It's one, one button. You don't need one button over here, one over here, just one button. You get your turn signals, start. And then right over here, you have a traction control button right here. And then right back here, it's a little button. And that changes your, that changes this. You get your trip A, 
Crypt B, your range until you're empty, your time, your gear and RPM indicator, your front, your front tire pressure at 36, rear tire pressure 41, and then back to your miles. And to be honest, what more do you need? Let's, uh, let's fire this thing up. I'll show you guys what the exhaust sounds like and then let's take it for a spin. Bam, I'm in another place. Don't be scared. Let's do the words of wisdom. Romans 15, 5. Um, now may the God who gives perseverance and encouragement grant you to be of the same mind with one another according to Christ Jesus. Awesome. I'm going to put on my uh, exclude the only, the super rare, amazing Kevlar lined M1 Moto gloves. These are the, uh, you can't buy this color anymore. We got black ones all the time. At bikesandbeardsgear.com. Let's start the test drive. I jump on this bike. I just, it feels like a glove. All right, so I didn't mention yet the couple things that I would change about this bike. And I'm not gonna lie, they're not hard. It's not hard changes. One, why couldn't they have come with like pegs? Cool looking blacked out you know, special pegs, uh, highway pegs, just for this bike. That's a little, like, yeah, you know, everyone wants to put their own stuff on, I don't know. I feel like that would have that would have cost them 20 cents. The other thing is, and I know this makes me an old man, but a backrest would have been nice. I'm not talking from a passenger. Forget that passenger. I want that passenger, if it's a girl, it, it's only ever a girl, um, not a girl, my wife, holding on to me, but a backrest for me. I love that, you know, a nice backrest on your road king, cruising, cruising on the highway or the back roads, kicking your feet up on the pegs. That's where it's at. So, throttle, of course, it's throttle by wire and it's just, it's flawless. You wouldn't, if I didn't tell you it was throttle by wire, you wouldn't notice it. The clutch, you know, nice and easy. It's just, you know, so, so much of this bike it's just like you don't think about it you don't notice anything you don't hop on the bike and be like whoa what's a little that's, you need a little learning curve to get better at that so much of this bike is just i've been riding this bike for my whole life which is cool which i like that about the road king you know of course the buttons changed in i think 2014 um but if you had a like what i had a couple years ago a 2003 road king and you jumped on this, there would be no learning curve. You'd be like, wow, it's just a newer version of, the, of what I'm used to. And that's what I really like about it. I also think that that's gonna help the Road King. You know, let's say I keep this bike for, you know, 30 years and my son gets it. He's gonna jump on and be like, wow, it's a cool classic looking bike, but it's in good shape. But you know, it, 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 they haven't changed that much. Maybe now, maybe in 20, maybe they'll change. Maybe they'll have like, uh, maybe they'll be flying, you know, in 20 years. I don't know. Now, another thing I did not mention about the Road King and something that's, it's actually a pretty, or, or the Road King special, and it's actually a pretty, pretty big change was if you notice the bags, these have stretch bags. They start to stretch on the back and they, they go around the, uh, the dual exhaust on the back. Almost kind of like street glide style. It's almost like a street glide back end, which makes sense because the focal point is just a sleekness of the motorcycle. And I really do think it added a lot to the style of the bike. And it really does start to separate it from the regular Road King standard. All right, side note, I now identify as a cyclist and I'm gonna win this race. Sean pulls in the lead. Pulls ahead of pink guy. Yes. Now even though this is a bagger, and baggers are just the big old man bikes that can't handle and can't turn. You know what? They got little metal, uh, they got little metal plates that are wear items on the bottom of these bags. And these bikes are a lot of fun in the corners. You could, chances are you could probably take this thing a lot lower than maybe what you feel comfortable doing. 
but it's just a, it's a blast. Is it the fastest? Is this the fastest way to to get around and to go? Uh, you know, take a corner? No, no, it's not. You know, a super sport is. But is this just a fun way to be on the road and be out in the highway and just like or the the back roads and just enjoying life? And yes, it totally is, man. And it here's another not a beef but this is the reason why I chose the Road King over the other bikes because of all of this see all this all of this right here you don't see this when you're riding an ultra classic because the fairing comes up to here you just see over that I like seeing this it's you know I want to see everything um, I don't know I mean I, I listen I can jump on electric glide I can jump on a road glide and just love it and enjoy it but I got my preferences so forget you guys you road guy you road road glide groupies this thing held up in first gear second gear there it was it was almost like, like like the top end of the speed and then the turbo bike started pulling away it was very very impressive this thing does a really good job at putting the power to the ground and just making more power than the uh you know until the turbocharger kit really starts to kick in so i'm really excited to see how this thing actually once I start putting some uh, modifications to it, seeing how more, much more, more fun it's gonna be. You could totally keep this stock, and it's just a fun bike. I think it's got a good sound. I don't think you have to put an exhaust, a loud exhaust on everything out there. I prefer it being a little bit quieter. I'm gonna take you guys to some of my favorite corners in my area. Alright guys, that wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check out srkcycles.com for your next motorcycle. And remember, it's not what you're riding, but where are you going? We'll see you guys next time.